have a Fear Not Tarantulas unboxing and uh, I am determined that it's going to be a good day. No more losses and uh, sun shining. There's not as much smoke in the air here in Spokane, so that's all good. Let's get to that unboxing. All right, we're in the box. And it says, thank you, Shanti. And uh, fear not, tarantulas. Wonderful place. I would say fear not and palp friction are my two favorites. Cold packs here, still nice and cool. Some blue paper. I like the way that Fear Not wraps everything in this paper. And the reason I say that is because you'll see people in their unboxing videos going through all of the shredded paper to look for more, you know, in case there were some freebies thrown in there. I, I don't know if there's been any cases of uh, anyone missing anyone, but I, I just like it all packaged up in, in one lump like this. There's less chance of, of anything getting lost or going wrong. Also, it's very secure because, you know, it's inside this paper and um, the, the, pack, the coal pack is next to it. It doesn't have any movement. So really, the whole thing is moving with the box, but I'm wondering if you have little uh, shreds of paper inside, if maybe they couldn't have some more, you know, more room for jostling. Okay. So you probably know what I chose as the... Uh, the freebie is the Heteropoda uh, David Bowie Spiderling. And it was either that or I was going to choose the, oh gosh, the, oh gosh, trapdoor, trapdoor, the trapdoor spider. Um, I, 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 I do want, I do want a huntsman, so... You know, now I have one. Let's see here. You can see inside where we're at. Aha! There we go. This is tiny, tiny, tiny baby. There we are. Right there. Right there. So it'll be fascinating to see this one grow. And uh, this is the container that Fear Not sent that it will be living in for a while. A few molts. No need to rehouse the little guy. Just keep him in here and... Okay, there we go. I have my Syria Cosmos Elegans, the Trinidad, Trinidad Dwarf Tiger. Um, and this one is the, the tarantula that I had escape on me and that, that's my other loss that, that I've experienced here in my collection besides the avicularia with the bad molt. Now this is something that I just think is absolutely gorgeous and I am really excited to add this one to the family. It's a Formingo Chylus species Rufus or a peach earth tiger, two inches. Um, two inches is a pretty good size. So 
So that ought to be fun. The last one is the Cripsidromus species Costa Rica. And I don't see a lot of these out there. I know they've been definitely been a tarantula that's been for sale for a while, but I just don't see a lot of them. Okay, this is the enclosure for the Flamingo Chylus species Rufus. And it's two inches, so I think this will work. If I open it up and it doesn't, I have a backup enclosure for it. Got a little water bowl, Got this pipe cleaner, it's bent over so it's not sharp. Here we go. My bin here and uh, yeah. All right. Get them in there. Hunkered in. So this one is being shy, but also a little bit, a little bit defensive. I can tell. You've got a little bit of a threat pose there. Doesn't want to come out of its uh, tube. You got a hold of the. <laughs> Definitely got a hold of the pipe cleaner. Okay. All right. There we go. I'll take walk about. Okay. Go back. Go back. Come on. There we go. The key here is to just stay calm. There you have it. Safe and secure. There it is. I don't know, what'd you think? That didn't go too bad at all. So I'm gonna let this one get settled in and uh, go on to the next. Okay, <clears throat> here is the enclosure that I put together for um, my Cripsidromus species Costa Rica and this one is about one inch to one and a quarter inch so this should be okay for now it's got a um, a hide in here and a plant and I am using the cap of a water bottle just a regular 16 ounce water bottle to um, uses a water dish and I actually like these the best for a lot of my slings you know once in a while I'll use a pill a pill cap if I have a really tiny sling so here's a little one called a black Amelia there's not a whole lot of information out there about these guys Okay, there it is, little guy in there. Okay. Whoop! We <laughs> we got our catch cup here, and um, <laughs> I kind of had a feeling that was gonna happen. So you know what? I asked for it. Totally asked for it. I bet some people are watching this video and thinking, oh, she's gonna get bit. It's only a matter of time. 
And for those people, all I have to say is, well, I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Maybe you're right. Hanging out on the cork bark. Syria Cosmos Elegans. I feel ashamed that my last one escaped. I used something new for an enclosure. A little miniature, uh, miniature, kind of like a tote with clasps on the end. And I'm sure that it will be in one of my other videos. And there was a bowed place in the center of it. Very tiny and tiny enough for a tiny little tarantula to get out. And I went through the substrate and I kept it in another container. Then nothing ever turned up. I went through it with a fine tooth comb. The only thing I can think is took a, took a run. So here's my new one. I feel bad because, you know, not only losing a little one somewhere just for its life, and also I feel bad because I know fear not, you know, they work really hard there taking care of all their little tarantulas, and uh, just to think that I it happened it doesn't make me happy with myself. So this one's going to stay in this deli cup. I know it's a, a little big. Um, you know, this, this C. elegans looks to be bigger than the last one I had, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm um, not taking any chances. I have really small holes in here. I didn't want to put it in one of the smaller deli cups because I don't really have any that are that I trust. So there you have it. Very simple. Rehouse. A few minutes later, everybody's rehoused. We have the Cripsidroma species Costa Rica Panama Black Amelia. It is very safely inside of its hide now. It was scared. Syria Cosmos Elegans is right there. You can see right there. And then lastly, the Flamingo Kylus species Rufus or the Peach Earth Tiger. And that one is hiding out right here. And we'll probably take a little more time to get settled in. It does have a little bit of a pre-dug burrow for it to start on, but I'm sure that it's nervous and wants to just be inside of a hiding place. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I will be sharing some more.